Uh, Mr. President, it's no secret that uh, every Republican in this chamber, uh, every senator on this side of the aisle, voted against uh, the President's health care law. Uh, we said it would do great harm to the American people. We're finding out that that's true. Uh, it's also no secret that every Democrat in the Senate voted in favor of the health care law. It was partisan, it was a bad idea, and it has failed the country in many ways. People know about the, the health care website, uh, but the, the website, um, it, of course it was the most spectacular, most public failure, but it was just the tip of the iceberg. Under the iceberg, people are being hit with higher premiums, canceled coverage, over five million people lost their coverage around the country. Uh, people aren't able to keep the doctor that they had and liked in spite of the president's promise that if you liked your doctor, you could keep your doctor. Uh, there are concerns about higher co-pays and higher deductibles, but also fraud and identity theft is an issue that ha is uh, plaguing all of America, and, and the, the health care website is really a spot well, where I believe we're going to see more problems uh, in, in that area. Americans know that fraud and identity theft um, are big concerns. Uh, it's been clear from the start that the health care exchange was vulnerable to con artists, to hackers, and actually uh, information went out from the government saying, be careful with your information because of the concerns of uh, con artists and, uh, and hackers. So that's a problem, and it's something that I think Washington and this body needs to take seriously. Now, whenever President Obama talks about the health care law, uh, he says if Republicans have good ideas, please bring them forward, share them, and then he says he will support them. Well, Republicans have offered a lot of ideas on how to give the American people the health care reform that they wanted all along. Uh, we passed bills in the House of Representatives. We've tried to bring up bills here in the Senate. Uh, Democrats won't even allow us to vote on those bills in the Senate. You know, as a doctor, I could tell you what people were looking for with health care reform. They wanted access to quality, affordable health care, care they need from a doctor that they choose at lower costs. They didn't get that with the health care law that the President and the Democrats shoved down the throats of the American people. And every time the majority leader at that desk blocks reform, I believe he's making things worse for millions of Americans. So we're trying again uh, to take the President at his word and uh, that he will support good Republican ideas. Well, so Senator Johans of Nebraska and I have introduced a common sense bill that will help protect Americans um, who use the government insurance exchange. Uh, our bill, called the Health Exchange Security and Transparency Act, well, it requires the Secretary of Health and Human Services to notify Americans within two business days if their personal information has been stolen due to security breaches on the exchanges. Uh, not saying it's going to happen, but it sure could happen, and if it does, people need to be informed. Now, the House passed a version of this bill just last Friday, and they did it. It was clearly a bipartisan bill, 67 Democrats joined Republicans to support this good idea. Now I believe it's our turn here in the Senate. Um, you know, there shouldn't be anything controversial about this at all. This should be the kind of a bill that we can just pass by unanimous consent. But after forcing so many Americans to buy insurance through this program, I believe it's the government's responsibility to safeguard Americans' private information. You know, even senators who voted for the president's health care law should agree with this. Uh, that should be the minimum that we, we require from Washington. Keep Americans' private information private. Then, if government fails to keep that information safe, you should have to admit it and tell people what happened. That's all this bill says. It's a single page. Americans are concerned about their safety online, about having their identity stolen, and this bill would give people at least the reassurance that they would be informed that if there are issues of their identity theft, that they would know about it. Well, look at what just happened to the Target stores. It now looks like 70 million people had their personal data compromised. Now, they, they ran a full, Target ran a full-page ad, uh, took out uh, in the Washington Post, talking about what happened with, with uh, their 70 million customers. Uh, they apologized for it. The same ad that ran here in the Washington Post ran in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, other papers around the country. Target told people about the security breach so they can take appropriate steps and watch for signs of identity theft. Uh, and Target's also said they do cre free credit ratings for a year, made a number of, uh, of, 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 con of concerns that the American people have addressed those concerns and said this is how we would take care of it. 
all the bill that we have offering today says mr president is that something happens like what happened here and it happens when the government's health exchange website that washington should do the same thing should tell people that someone has gotten access to their personal information so people can protect themselves the health care law was completely inadequate in how it dealt with this with uh, personal security issues the website's been a debacle we know that it's a hacker's dream but even before the website was launched uh, last march uh, it has been a mess cbs news reported that deadlines for the site's final security plans were delayed three times over the summer so we saw that problem uh, final end-to-end -end security tests were never finished before the website was launched in november after the website was launched four experts testified before the house about website problems they were asked would any of you would any of you advise an american citizen to use this website as the security systems now exist not one of them not one of the four said that they would none well by de by december one of those same industry experts said that the situation was even worse the so-called fixes caused new security patterns and problems uh, remember that's after the white house was claiming that it had fixed the website what they had fixed was just the tip of the iceberg and these problems under the tip continue today so the house passed a bill on friday uh, overwhelming bipartisan majority the president still says he opposes it why why would the president oppose this bill why would he oppose being honest with the american people and helping them protect themselves from identity theft president obama has dug in his heels so deep on his health care law that he won't even consider good bipartisan ideas that will help the american people senator johans and i are going to continue to push for a vote and to call on the president to support this bill the president needs to keep his promise to support good republican ideas and to protect the american people from identity theft as i say mr president this is just the tip of the iceberg with the website all you have to do is to go to this morning's newspapers whether it's the washington post above the fold front page insurance signups by young adults lag key measure for health care law premiums could jump if more don't enroll higher premiums that's what i'm hearing about from home in in wyoming uh, today's wall street journal health signups skew older raising fears of higher costs that's not what the president promised the president came to the floor of, of, the, of the house of representative joint session of congress said if you like your coverage you can keep your coverage if you like your doctor you can keep your doctor said insurance premiums would drop for people he made statements that uh, uh, over the past years that under his plan pol insurance policies would drop twenty five hundred dollars per family well then why is the new york times saying uh, premiums could jump the president says one thing the rest of the world sees another and then the new york times today um, again front page above the fold older people lead signups for insurance pattern could result in higher premiums questions about the law's financial viability put together a program that those of us who actually read the bill ahead of time had great concerns about its success its viability its ability to deliver what it promised the president's promises one of which has now been called the lie of the year continue uh, and we call that by a kind of a, a group that looks at statements and uh, is a somewhat of a referee as political statements are made uh, to get that kind of a an accomplishment for the president just shows how misleading the efforts have been uh, on the american people the american people see what they're getting in their mail cancellation notices they see what happens when they go to the website higher premiums sticker shock and now this threat of ongoing security concerns especially in light of what's happening elsewhere around the country I think it's time for the president to actually keep his word that he does want to work with Republicans for good ideas. And he could do so by adopting this measure passed by the House on Friday that Senator Joe Hans and I have presented to the Senate for their approval today. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.